Uh, we're making inquiries of everybody in the building. Have you uh, noticed any suspicious looking characters loitering around your window while you've been undressing before you have a shower? Oh, no, I haven't. Well, it's lucky, wouldn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Britain's public health system is in crisis as the effects of mad cow disease are felt across the country. Edward, Elspeth and Jerry are government health inspectors who have orders to destroy all the cows in the borough. It's an unpleasant task and the farmers are rarely cooperative. No, no, no cattle here. No, I'm a grass farmer. No, I run grass. All this. You don't mind if I take a look around? No, no, you go for your life. Yeah, well, we, uh, we got quite a lot of grass. Hello there, Bert. Yeah, got... well, uh, what's that there, then? Uh, this is this here is a black and white beauty. <laughs> yeah, she's the fastest horse in the borough, aren't you, darling? <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> what's, what's, that? That? what's that on her belly, then? It's a rash. <laughs> Yours? Oh, yeah, that's man's best friend, that is. Isn't that right, Rusty? Where's your ball? Where's your... Here's your ball, look! Here's your ball. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Come on. Come on, Rusty. Come on, up here. Come on, Rusty. Up here. <laughs> He's not going to jump up today. He's a bit tired after his walkies. <laughs> What's with that mooing, then? It's a rash. Hello, Tweety. Hello, Tweety. Who's a pretty boy? Who's a pretty boy? You are a pretty boy. Draw two cents, please. Oh, I have to round that down. Yep, that's fine. To nothing. Yes. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. And sports next to Eddie McGuire. Eddie, are you doing with the air <laughs> Sorry, Jim? Trouble brewing with the air pearl. Eddie. Whatever, Jim, yes. Coming up in sport, Australia's Davis Cup chances have received a major financial boost. Details in sport. Thanks, Eddie. Sounds like they're maybe making a net profit this year. <laughs> What's that, Jim? I thought we make you a net pop of the shirt, Eddie. <laughs> Couldn't get that, Jim. I oh, forget. <laughs> Don't want to bother anybody. I'm just going kind to of, kind of word I'm saying. Sorry, Jim? Piss off, Eddie. <laughs> Hello. 
I'm David Copperfield, master of illusion. <laughs> Mystery and magic are my middle names, as is Patrick. And now, observe, if you will, the amazing brass ring trick. Alakazoo! Yeah, and it was all over, and thank your hairdresser for the furniture. Yeah, yeah, good point. OK, well, with Dipper still trying to find the ground, documentary filmmaker and art critic Philip Quist is filling in once again, and he's down in the rooms now with one very relieved Tony Groves. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Stewart. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Maxie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Anthony, a one-point victory achieved by your goal after the siren. Apparently, this is an exciting thing for the rest of your team. Absolutely fantastic, mate, yeah. Philip. <laughs> Philip, yeah, mate, uh, you know, it's what, uh, it's what every kid dreams of, yeah. Yes, I don't remember having that dream myself, never mind. <laughs> now, uh, Anthony, I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what was going through, which, for want of a better term, we call your mind, when you were preparing <laughs> to take that final kick? Mate, um, I don't think anything was going through my mind at all, actually. <laughs> Yes, I'm satisfied with that answer. <laughs> now, apparently, Greg Plum performed with Gusto and Verve today. Mate, uh, Plum, he's unreal. You know, bloke's a legend. He's been on fire and, uh, you know, he must have got more than 30 possessions today, yeah. Sorry, 30 possessions? What, was he taken over by some sort of demon, was he? <laughs> no, you know, possessions, kicks, handballs, yeah. But surely, Anthony, surely kicking and handballing is disposing of the ball. It's actually the opposite of possessing, isn't it? Isn't it curious? <laughs> <laughs> well, <Amazing>. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know, mate, but uh, bloke's just on fire, you know, and it, um, it all goes well for the finals. <laughs> it what? Well, yeah, it all goes well for the finals. I really hate that. It's, uh, it's not all goes well, it's augurs. It's augurs well. <laughs> Augur. A-U-G-U-R. It augurs well. It's like a portent or an omen. The ancient Egyptians would often cut open chickens and read the offal. Read the auguries. It's an omen. You know what an omen is? Yeah, the movie. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes, it's the movie, yes. It should have been called All Goes Well, but they, uh, they didn't have the rights, apparently. <laughs> Jeez, might as well give these people their own dialect. <laughs> now, finally, you seem to follow uh, the opposition captain around all day today. Uh, why was that? Uh, do you share a common uh, interest? Are you attracted to the man? What's going on there? Do tell. <laughs> We're all ear No, no, I was, I was tagging him, mate. Tagging him? What, what language are you using? What does that mean? What does tag mean? Do well, you know, tagging. I was, I, was, I was following him around so that, you know, stop, try and stop him from getting the ball. Well, that's a bit unfair, isn't it? I mean, hasn't he got a right to the ball like everybody else? I think he could take it to the Human Rights Commission. I mean, if everybody did what you did, no one would get the ball during the match. What would be the point of playing the game, assuming there is a point in the first place? Do tell. Mate, look, I don't know. I'm just doing what I'm told, you know? Yes, Goebbels could have used that defence, couldn't he? What'd he do? Well, he was partly responsible for the slaughter of millions of innocent people. Yeah, well, mate, I, you know, I can't comment on tribunal matters. Go away. Well, that's enough of that. Anthony Groves there, he kicked the winning goal, he mangled the Queen's English and crushed the free expression of the human spirit under the jackboot of fascism. Back to you, I thank you. <laughs> to assist me with my next trick, I will require the assistance of my supermodel de facto, Claudia Schiffer. Are you there, Claudia? No. <laughs> Aren't you? And now, the 
the astonishing magical newspaper trick. Hey, that's good. <laughs> you know, over the years I've explained to you and you've tamed the delights of these wee tubs of Yoplait yogurt and its delicious flavours. But I also may have given you the impression that there was some wee connection between Yoplait and the fridge. <laughs> Nothing could be further from the truth, I swear. Yoplait is as Scottish as the tartan, so there's absolutely no reason in the world to stop buying the stuff. All right, now. Oh! Oh, 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 hey, that's good. Yo play. It's Scottish for we're not French. Alan Grin has been an astrologer and clairvoyant for 15 years. His ability to accurately predict the future has made him a very wealthy man, demanding in excess of $500 an hour for a consultation. When businesses want to know what the market is going to do in the next 12 months, they ask Alan Grimm. When politicians want to know what the big issues in the electorate will be in a year's time, once again, they come for Alan Grimm. Mr Grimm says his ability to see into the future is a, sk <laughs> is a skill which, like any other, has required plenty of practice to hone to its present level. Unlike his clients, however, Mr Grimm says he would sometimes <laughs> prefer not to know what lies ahead of him. Yeah, yeah, sure, I get tired of it, you know, it, uh, it does take away life's little surprises, you know what I mean? Mm, yes, right. Now, have, have you ever thought that... S sorry, sorry, can we move tables, please? Sure. Sorry, I'm just getting a bad vibe from over there, and this is a much more peaceful area. Yeah, okay. yeah it's good. Yeah, please go on. Now, did you ever think that um, when you started this career that you'd ever be this successful? No, 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 it never occurred to me. Well, um, shouldn't it have? <laughs> well, you... <laughs> Oh my goodness me, you're making a terrible mistake. Your play is not Scottish. It is actually Indian for most precious nectar of Bodish Vata. Hello, can I help you? Uh, just the tube of toothpaste and the cigarette lighter, thanks. Anything else? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll grab a pair of sunnies while I'm here. Is that all? Yeah. Sure you wouldn't like a pair of thongs or maybe a... <laughs> maybe a straw hat? <laughs> no, no. So it's just the uh, toothpaste, the lighter and the sunnies. <laughs> Yes. I see. Is anything wrong? No, 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 no. Are, are you sure? Because it just seems like something's bothering you. No, nothing's bothering me at all. Look, I spent four years studying to be a pharmacist. <laughs> four years it took me to become that vital middleman between doctor and patient. Training these hands to make medicines to cure the sick and the needy. And... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, well, um, in that case, I'll have a packet of throaties, thanks. <laughs> I beg your pardon? A, a, a packet of throaties? A packet of throaties! <laughs> well, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Don't patronise me! <laughs> I work back there in that laboratory making drugs that can kill. I deal with dangerous chemical compounds every day. Serious medication. How serious do you think something called a throaty is? <laughs> oh, I've got a sore throat. 
I think I'll have a throaty. <laughs> I have a twisted bowel. I think I'll have a bowly. <laughs> something a child would make up. Look at these things. Look, 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 look at this. Look, look, look. It's a jube. A jube. You may as well eat a f***ing licorice all sort. <laughs> Benzedrine. There's a drug you can respect. I don't want any Benzedrine. Rehypnol. Phenylalanine. Paroxyquine. Just that there's nothing really wrong with me. Then get out. Get out. And don't come back here until you've contracted something you require a prescription to cure. <laughs> Go on. Can I take No, you can't. Get out. Oh. 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 Yes. Yes, can I help you? Yeah, a packet of jelly beans, thanks, mate. <laughs> Konnichiwa! <laughs>